Okay, so what's going on tonight, guys? Huh? What's going on tonight? Yes. Oh my God, what's going on? What's wrong, White Leg? I hear you. Look at these guys. These are all males, every one of them. And uh, we finally had somebody contact us that said they would willing, be willing to spade them for 25 each, being that we don't have anybody in our area no more. So first I had to buy little red cages. Um, I bought four of them. So I spent a hundred bucks on cages. They're little tiny shitty ones. And White Leg, I hear you, buddy. He has been a bitch to catch. He has gotten more females pregnant in this area than I can shake a stick at. I've got a couple of his babies on my porch that I've fixed already. Your time is over. Yes, it's over. So it's 3.30 in the morning and it became cat snatching time. And we got them. And uh, this one here, this one's a little black one. We found him half dead in the yard. And he's been caged for a good, I don't know, a good three months while we were looking for some place to get him fixed with. And uh, the other one there has been caged. This one hasn't. This one's been pretty friendly. But uh, this one, he just started letting me pet him. But uh, we're uh, only keeping, I think, three. The black one we're going to let go to the cat, cat rescue. I hear you, white leg. He's kind of rubbed off on me. But uh, we are going to meet this woman for all four cats in a parking lot 30 minutes away from here at 5 a.m. in the morning. And she's going to take these cats and take them someplace past Nashville, which is an hour and a half drive, so she's kind of meeting us halfway. And then after a couple days, she's going to bring them back, except that black one. I believe the rest we're keeping. I'm not sure what the way she's done. I know white leg we're keeping, which is this guy's yapping over here. Because me and him are kind of rubbed off on each other a little bit. He lets me pet him. But he don't let me pick him up. He always comes up on the porch for a little pet. So, it's cat snatching time. And he was not easy to catch. I had to put my big gloves on and uh, wait for him and then grab him. I've never seen my wife get so excited. Oh my God, you got him. Oh my God, you got him. Oh, he's going to get fixed. <laughs> you know, I could buy my wife a very nice outfit. Or I could buy her something that I think is wonderful. And she'd be like, oh, that's nice. That's okay. But if I catch a cat that she can't catch, and I can put those gloves on, and look like the big strong man because she's scared to get bit by that cat, oh, I'm the biggest hero going. I don't care even if I had the gloves. If I can look like the big strong hero in front of the wife, I'd still catch him. Just to stand there and go, ho, 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 I'm the man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's men or something else. But they're all going for a ride. And uh, we'll see how that goes. So, since uh, Loretta Lynn died, I've noticed that they don't have anybody around here paying for cats to get fixed anymore. So I'm sure she was the donor that was paying for that. But it's been months. My wife found this one woman, and uh, she's willing to help us, but I had to buy $100 in cages to transport them, which is where we're going now. And we've got two being spaded and two being neutered. Females get spaded, males get neutered. And uh, after that, we pick them up tomorrow, bring them back, and wait for them to heal. And then we can actually give her some cats where she'll rescue them and take them out to a farm. Um, I think we're getting rid of two.
but uh, that'll take care of most of the males. We've got a couple kittens yet that have to be done. So we'll definitely be doing another trip. But um, White Leg, as you see in the video, I'll be keeping him. He's an old guy. And uh, I don't know. I, I just don't see him being very happy anywhere. He tends to walk around. He shows up every day, maybe for an hour, and then he's up and he's, he's basically an old Tom cat. But uh, we're on our way now. So uh, what are you doing on this Sunday? Are you driving at 4.20 a.m. to take some cats in to get fixed? <laughs> Off we go. Well, got here. It's 5 o'clock in the morning. And uh, there was like four other cars getting their cats uh, fixed or spaded or whatever and neutered. She came in a pickup truck. And uh, I paid $25 a cat, four cats, 100 bucks. I had to buy cages, which were 100 bucks, so $200 to get them fixed. We pick them up tomorrow at 10 o'clock in the morning, and uh, then we let them heal a bit. Now, if we want to get rid of, I think we're getting rid of, what, one? So we're getting rid of one, which is going to go to a cat rescue to cut down on some of the cats. And then uh, we got a few more it has got to get done, but you never know what's available. Sometimes she has a vet that's $65, sometimes she has a vet that's 20 sometimes she's got a vet that's 25 And you can't just request what you want. You literally have to kind of take what you can get it, or else you could be sitting around waiting for two or three months. Now, some of these cats I've had in big cages because I don't like them running loose where they can just go out and produce more babies. So they've been in extremely large cages, and the litters and everything has to be changed every day. It's a job, and um, at least that's taken a good part of that job away. We've only got a few more to do. And it'll be all done. I do have one female cat I can't catch. I've tried. I've tried peanut butter. I've tried cat food. I've tried everything in the live trap. That cat is so smart. It will not go in the trap. I have one cat called White Leg. He's one that's actually getting fixed. And uh, he's smart. When I put the live trap out to catch the female cat, he actually knows how to go in that live trap, not step on the trigger, and eat all the cat food in the can. And then he leaves. He's actually gotten smart enough to know how that live trap works. That's pretty amazing. I'd love to get that on video. But um, she's becoming quite interesting to catch. I might have to buy a net off Amazon. And when I, I can get pretty close to her. I can get like, I don't know, a good five feet from her. So maybe I need some form of net that I can kind of just toss in the air and land on top of her and then run up and grab her. That might be something I'll try. But I, I really need to catch her and get her done. So, here's what I did on my Sunday morning at five o'clock in the morning, just great. It looks like there's another car getting ready to pull in there. She looks like she takes a lot of cats. So what do you do for your cats? Got way too many, man. People keep dropping them off at my house. It's gotta stop. Catch you guys later.